Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to see how we can start implementing our next app. That would be a interesting app, which we would be working on. And that would be basically a typing speed measuring app with Ionic and React and Firebase, obviously. So what we want to do is basically start off with the integration of login and registration in our application. And before even that, we need to integrate Firebase as well. So I guess we should just start working on the UI for now. So for example, I'm just going to just gonna start with uh, the login and register route right here, right? And once you do that, I'm just going to rename this to login as well. I'm going to zoom out a little so that it's easier for me to type. And this would be register as well, right? So we would need login right here and register right here, right? So let's just go ahead and create these pages right here. And I'm going to say this would be register.tsx. And we can actually separate them in separate folders as well if you want. And login.tsx. For the most part, registration and login would kind of look same. So I'm just going to paste them just like that right now so that it stops complaining. And for the home page, we can just say best app ever right because why not and this would take us to login and i'm going to say this is login and this would be register and i'm going to say this is register and we can always obviously say that its color is secondary right so here we are we have login and register links with us as of now so yeah they kind of work but let's just go ahead and add some stuff in the login page. So how do we begin? Well, we can begin by saying that our this thing right here is in fact an ion input to the placeholder of maybe let's say username. Right. And uh, another ion input with the placeholder saying password. Right. And then finally, we need an ion button right here, which would just say to us login. Right. So that is like the bare minimum bare bone structure you're going to need. And when we press login, you're going to see we get username, password and a little login button with us. So you can type in your username, you can type in your password and you can press the login button. So what we want is that when we press this button on press on click actually not on press because well for the web we have on click event so what i want to do is i want to say login user right and uh, we can have our username set username field as use state similarly for password password set password like that and we can just initialize it with a empty string and we can say um, on change it, or not really this on ion change we get an event and i want to set the username to be event.target.value right so i can just name it the html event but for now it will just work just fine right similarly we would want the same thing with password as well so i'm going to say set password right here to the target value and finally let's just go ahead and create this function which we have right here functional login user so what we can do now is we can grab these usernames and passwords and we can just console log them for now when we would implement the firebase thing then we would just send these credentials to firebase to actually see if they are valid or not so for now, if we go ahead and write something and log in, you can see that we get the correct credentials right there. And these could be used for the Firebase authentication. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you then in the next one.